What's the difference between mobile, manufactured, and modular homes? Stick around and I'll give you the scoop. Hi neighbors, Katherine Newman, local real estate agent with Alice and James, here to give you the bottom line on the differences between the variety of prefabricated homes available to home buyers. In an article written by Nationwide Insurance and according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development known as HUD, the difference between manufactured, modular, and mobile homes all comes down to differences in construction and safety. Manufactured and mobile homes must be built according to HUD's building codes while modular homes must follow local, state, and or regional building codes. Mobile, manufactured, and modular homes are considered prefabricated homes, and these houses are actually manufactured and built separately at a factory, delivered to your property, and then assembled. Homes of this nature offer potential home buyers an alternate route to traditional home ownership. Depending on the type of prefab home, they also offer you more flexibility in terms of cost. Mobile homes. So, what exactly are mobile homes? They are homes built off-site that can be relocated with more ease than a traditional home. Mobile homes in the United States were built prior to June 15, 1976, when HUD developed new manufactured home construction and safety standards. Construction. Mobile homes are often built on wheels, hello, for ease of relocation, and they are built using a variety of materials. Home design options. Mobile homes vary in their design and can be customized to fit any lifestyle. Safety. One of the major drivers of the 1976 policy development was safety. Mobile homes prior to this time were not regulated and therefore could be built according to a wide variety of standards or lack thereof. Mobile homes do not follow current HUD regulations. Cost. While mobile homes were once a more affordable home ownership option for many Americans, these types of homes are no longer made due to HUD policy changes in 1976. They have since been replaced by manufactured homes, which are any pre-built homes built after June 15, 1976. Therefore, the difference between a mobile and manufactured home is the date the home was built. Manufactured homes can also be easily relocated, typically cost less than homes built on site and have a variety of design options. They're also available in several sizes, single wide, double wide, and triple wide. Both double and triple wides are less narrow than single wides, of course, and are more similar in floor plan and appearance to site-built homes. Construction. Manufactured homes are constructed in a climate-controlled building facility away from the property location and assembled in a single piece before being delivered to the home buyer. Electrical, storage such as closets, plumbing, and stairs are generally built at the facility. Home design options. Manufactured homes can be easily customized. You can choose finishes, flooring, uh, the design of your kitchen, bathroom, and more. And depending on the size home you choose, you can expand your house to include more rooms. Safety. Manufactured homes must follow strict safety regulations set by HUD, which means homes must meet certain thresholds of structural strength and element resistance against wind, storms, corrosion, animals, and insects. 
Internal and external inspections are required during and after construction to ensure the house has safe living conditions. Cost. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, as of August 2020, the average manufactured home sells for around $88,000 and while they tend to be less expensive than on-site homes, customizations, location, and materials can drive the price up. However, they do not appreciate the same way on-site built homes do. Modular homes. Modular homes, like manufactured ones, are constructed in a climate-controlled off-site facility. So, is a modular home the same as a manufactured home? No. <laughs> the difference between modular and manufactured homes is that modular homes are assembled in modules or large sections. Once each section is completed, it's transported to your property location and assembled on a foundation. Unlike manufactured ones, they don't need to follow federal HUD regulations. Instead, construction of modular homes must adhere to local, state, and regional code requirements. Another major difference between modular and manufactured homes is their ability to be relocated. Once modular homes are built, they cannot be moved. Construction. If you're wondering how to tell if a home is modular, look at where and how they are built. Like on-site homes, they are built on a permanent foundation compared to a chassis like manufactured or mobile homes. However, if it's built off-site, it's considered modular. Also, electrical plumbing, foundation, and sewage aren't included. These necessities must be built on-site. Home design options. Um, options for customization are endless with modular homes. You can choose a variety of add-ons, including finishes and flooring. Modular homes can also be built to more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Safety. All modular homes, like on-site homes, must be inspected during and after the construction phase prior to delivery by third-party inspectors to assess if they're up to local, state, and regional code. Cost. Once built, Modular homes are considered real estate and appreciate like on-site built homes. They can be more affordable than on-site options since they are built uh, in factories, making construction faster and they're not subject to weather delays. If you've ever considered home ownership with a prefab home, Finding out which one is right for you is a matter of cost, location, and customization. Both manufactured and modular homes offer a variety of home design options, affordability, as well as safety. Knowing federal, local, state, and regional construction codes must be followed. Of course, buying a home is no small decision. In addition to determining what kind of home suits your lifestyle and goals best, there are other factors to consider, including hiring reliable contractors to build and maintain your property, possible monthly lot fees, HOA fees, and finding the right homeowner's insurance. If you'd like professional help in finding your prefab home, Give me a call today and let's come up with a plan to help you reach your home ownership goals. I'm Katherine Newman. Thanks for checking out this week's Bottom Line.